I started off my career in science, in physics. I had a great time in the laboratory and studied chemistry and the physics and lasers back in the dawn of that work. Then I moved to planetary astronomy and studied the moons of Jupiter, uh, the surface of Mars, and then I got a chance to go into space myself, flew four missions on the U.S. space shuttles, twice on Atlantis and twice on Endeavour. I tell people in the electric power industry that I'm usually the only one in the room who owes their life to fuel cells and solar panels. That gets the conversation off the ground pretty well with folks from industry, folks uh, who are students, and it's great to be able to bring some of those kind of perspectives to our problems in electric power. My work has three focuses. One is markets for electric power. As you know, Pennsylvania and California were the first two states to restructure the electric power industry in 1996. The second is security and reliability of the electric power system. The third is low carbon dioxide generation, including renewable power. In electric power markets, when we published some research that showed that consumer prices had not been affected either down or up by electric power restructuring. That was seminal work. In other industries, railroads, airlines, trucking, barges, the prices had really gone way down after deregulation. Not so in electric power. After we showed that, not one state has deregulated and we still have just the 20 states that have restructured and 30 hadn't. So we really changed the tone of the debate on electric power restructuring. In renewables and other low carbon electric power, we have done a lot of work in the basic mathematics of wind power and of solar power that shown how you can best integrate those into the existing electric power system at lowest cost. We've also done work with electric vehicles and done studies of storing electric power and how that affects markets and how markets affect the profitability of storing electric power.